From Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show today. Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. We all need heroes, don't we? Everybody needs a hero. And you've got to have someone to look up to, somebody you revere, someone who has done something. That is rarely, if ever, done. Somebody who has the wherewithal to stand up and say, you know what, I'm going to stand up for what's right. And then they do. Someone who is not concerned at what the public opinion is going to be. He simply does the right thing. He lives with the consequences because he's a true hero. Over the last 35 years or so, I don't think men have had a lot of true heroes. We've had our hearts broken by many guys. You know, whether it be Barry Bonds, or whether it be... I mean, think about all the guys who've broken our hearts over the years. People we look up to who, you know, disappoint us in some way. I mean, it goes all the way back to Richard Nixon, for God's sake. There were a lot of people who thought he was a great president. And then he goes, does that Watergate thing, and you know what I'm talking about. It's very rare that a man steps out and does the right thing, and he is to be looked up to. He is to be revered. He is to be treated as something special. And as a man, I am proud to say I have just that person. I have a new hero in my life. No, Art, it's not Dean. Dean can make me a hero, though, if he'd like to. I'd like some provolone on there. A little cup of cola on there, please. Thank you. No, I have a new hero. Somebody that I revere, and I believe if you're a man, you should revere him too. And when I tell you his name, you'll probably scoff until I explain why he's my hero. But uh, I had to suck it up and, and give the guy the, the proper credit. This This guy deserves all of the accolades. All of the accolades. Because he is standing up for men. without even getting off the couch, from what I can tell. Let me read you this story, this from the Associated Press, about my new hero. This, I think, is a hero to all men. And I want to find out if you agree with me on this. Dateline, Los Angeles. Britney Spears has been ordered to pay $120,000 in legal fees to my new hero, her ex-husband, Kevin Federline, who was awarded temporary custody of their sons. Superior Court Commissioner Scott M. Gordon ordered the pop star to pony up that much of the $154,500 in legal fees that Federline owes to his attorney, according to court papers filed this week. 
Gordon made the decision after considering factors including what the ruling called the notable disparity between the party's income. How much is that disparity? Well, I'll tell you. Court papers last week show that Spears makes roughly $737,000 per month. Wow. That's it? What about $9 million a year? Okay. Spends lavishly on clothes and entertainment. And poor Kevin Federline, my personal hero, according to the ruling, Federline indicates he does not earn any income. That is a disparity. And it had to be rectified. And Superior Court Commissioner Scott M. Gordon rushed to the rescue of our hero and awarded him $120,000 to pay his legal fees. By the way, Federline is the father of two-year-old Sean Preston and one-year-old Jaden James. He received $15,000 a month in child support and $20,000 a month in spousal support from Britney Spears for a grand total of $35,000 a month. How about that? Fantastic. $35,000 a month. You want to do a little quick math with me, everybody? I'll save you the time. It's $420,000 a year. $420,000 a year. Hopefully that's enough to feed Sean and Jaden. I hope so. I do. Now, the spousal support's going to end on November 15th. Then he'll be reduced to just getting $20,000 a month. Or $240,000 a year. But uh, I think this is fantastic. For all you women out there who don't want to do anything about the divorce laws, all you women out there who think child support laws are fair and custody laws are fair, this is fantastic news. I am thrilled that a guy hired an attorney, paid the attorney $154,500 to fight this case. And to win what he won, $120,000 his legal fees paid by the woman he was fighting against, Britney Spears. Fantastic. Eminently fair. Kevin Federline shows us that if women can play this game, men can play it too. I just want to salute Kevin Federline for his fine work. People say the guy doesn't work. Look what he did. Look what he's accomplished. This is fantastic. Kevin Federline is my new hero. Now, come on. Isn't he your new hero? Like this. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The 2008 Like Cat Calendar Release Party. This Friday at Canyon Club in Agoura Hills, California. Visit BlowMeUpTom.com for details. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Kevin Federline, my hero. James, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Doing great. How are you doing tonight? I just said how I'm doing. Good. Well, I'm doing terrible sitting in traffic on the 134, but that's beside the point. There you go. I wish you could, I wish you could have read my mind as I was sitting in traffic because I knew it was Kevin Federline before you even said it. Because <laughs> I've been telling my buddies for the past couple of years that he is my personal hero because he got himself a sugar mama with a lot of money that looked phenomenal. By the not way, she, a, she now looks like a filthy pig, but that's my opinion. Well, now she does, but before when he got with her, she looked great. That's the thing. I, I, I think he rode over a few speed bumps, and now he's taking her money. 
I think it's fantastic. You know what? That's the American dream. It's the American dream. I wish myself I could do something like that, but Kevin Federline had an in. He was a dancer. He was a backup dancer. And I got to be honest, when they had that damn show that they had together, I hated the guy, and then he decided to turn around and leave her. Tell you what, and... gives us something to strive for now. Yes. He is my hero. And I've actually turned my friends on to him as well because they thought I was crazy, and I told I, I, I threw down the points. Look, he's got all her money. He's got all her money, and she had that prenup that was tighter than gold or tighter than whatever, and, and it doesn't look too tight now, does it? Oh, well, it was tighter than something. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, Tom, um, I decided to, I had to put my two cents in. I love your show. I love the music at the beginning. I love everything about it. I've been listening to you for a long time. And um, take me out with a bong rip. Here you go, James. Lynn on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? Great. Well, I just got to say, I definitely agree with you. I mean, before, um, you know, I just heard Kevin Federline knew he was a dancer. I just thought he was a total loser, total douche. You know, I didn't care about this guy at all. Um, but after hearing what you just said, man, he is definitely, definitely my new hero. Ray Absolutely. Ray. Are you kidding? We should all salute this guy. We should all stand up and salute. Definitely, man. You know, I'd, I'd love how he just, you know, came up from out of nowhere, you know, and got himself a little a little something on the side and then just came out on top, dude, because I hate how women can just play men like that. And, you know, it's kind of like we can't do much about it once, you know, once it's all said and done. And, um, I mean, if you just look at the percentage of these kinds of cases and how many women just come out on top and just say, ah, screw you, stick their tongue out, all that stuff. This is a big blow to their face, man. I Are you kidding? It. I want to change the call letters of this radio station to KFED. <laughs> you know, I would love to talk to Kevin Federline right now, man. You know, I He's would, my I, hero. I, I'll tell you what. If he called in, we put him on the air immediately. Oh, yes, definitely. I'd love to hear. My God. Thank you so much for hearing, for just reading that, man. That just made my day. Any of our listeners, if you see KFED out, you buy him any drink he wants. Oh, definitely, man. Definitely. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll even I'll, I'll roll a blunt for him, man. Just for, <laughs> for, just for himself. You know, I won't even touch it. <laughs> but, man, thanks, Tom. I just wanted to put in, uh, I just wanted to say that. And a big congratulations to my man, Kevin Federline. I hate him for everything else, but I love him for that. <laughs> Thank you for that, Arlen. Appreciate the call. Here comes Red on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Okay, Red. Well, uh, I just wanted to say that, you know what, Kevin Federline is, uh, is a pioneer. And, yes. um, you know, it's like, it, it should be the United States of Kevin Federline, basically, you know. <laughs> <laughs> basically, because, you know what, he is doing something that is going to start a revolution, and uh, it's something that men should have been doing from the get-go. By the it way, is, I don't see any women calling it. It's all guys. There's no women who have an opinion about this. Isn't it amazing how the ladies are all hiding now? When you <laughs> Now that you can see how outrageously unfair uh, the, the divorce is and alimony is, mm -hmm. isn't it amazing that the, the gals have no opinion? opinion about this no none whatsoever and why is that because <laughs> they've been doing it for how many years now right and they, they think mm -hmm. it's their god-given right but if men can start doing it oh they're going to be quaking in their boots now nah. oh yeah <laughs> now they're crying right <laughs> now the, the the one thing that we that they had to themselves is is all over the news with the man now right yeah Get on, man. Power, power. More power to the people. More power to the men. <laughs> let, right. let Kevin Fairline set the example for, for the children right. to come. Let him light the way for the rest of us. Exactly, exactly. If, if this was, you know, ancient, time, ancient times, you would be Jesus, he would be Moses. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes, Tom. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah, Tom. Thanks a lot, Tom. And, uh, you know, keep it, keep it going. Keep it going. Let more, let more little Kevin Federlines come up in the world. Absolutely. Dwayne on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you doing there, Tom? Hey, how you doing? Well, I'm doing great. Hey, Tom, uh, you know, Kevin, you know, he's got two young children he has to take care of. He has to cook and clean. Right. I, think he does, I think he needs a raise. I think he deserves more too. You know what? Yeah, Maybe he, he needs to keep fighting. 
Yeah, well, you know, it's just not fair that that he only gets such a small portion of that seven hundred and some odd uh, thousand dollars per month. I so, agree. You know, with maybe you. he should go back to court. I agree with you. All right. Well, take me out of school, Tom. Yeah. What about the lifestyle to which he's become accustomed? For God's sake. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Well, I, hey, well, I don't know what to say about it. I, I agree with you. How do you support a kid on $15,000 a month? I don't know. Everything's expensive. they got to go to private school. Right. they got to have play dates. You know, they got to eat the best food. I, you know, he needs to go back to court and get more money. Right. He needs clothes so he can go out and support his kids, you know, so he can work as a dancer if he ever gets another job again. Well, you know what? He shouldn't have to work. He's got kids to raise. That's a that, exactly. Job, he should bro. be home to, to voting full time, because she's out there, you know, getting all screwed up and going out to clubs and stuff, and in rehab and out of rehab and stuff. He needs to be home with those children. That's right. That's right. Because you know what? Being a stay at home dad is a twenty four hour job. Twenty four seven. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, take me out, Tom. Uh, how would you like me to take you out? Uh, old school. Old school. Of course I'll take you out old school. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Jeff on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. And you know what? I agree with you, except actually your analysis is all wrong. This is horrible for men. Why? Because I'm going through this right now, and this is because she is the one woman out of 10,000 that maybe the rules would be reversed on. She's memorializing a very unfair system because she's going to be the outlier that everybody points to. But I think that if, right if enough now, guys see this, if enough guys see this, uh, rather than just giving up when they get divorced, they're going to start fighting for their piece of the pie, too. No, but uh, Tom, here's my point. I'm about to go into a Next time I get divorced, I'm going to say, I want the K-Fed treatment. Hold on. Let me explain something to you, Tom. I'm going through this right now. I'm getting divorced right now, okay? Uh -huh. I make more than my wife. She sits at home. She does nothing. She used to have jobs. She used to have a career. Now she's a quote-unquote stay-at-home mom, which means that she does nothing while the kids are in school. But because she has no income and I have the income, her lawyers are hitting me up for twenty grand, And my lawyer says I'm probably going to end up paying it. That sucks. But it happens to guys every day. I know, but what I'm telling you is that because this is happening, I'm, listen, I'm happy for Kevin Federline. I, have I mean, man get. has finally bitten bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but here's the thing. This is going to be used to say, hey, look, it works both ways. But she's the one person out of, like, how many hundreds where the one woman where this law will be applied to her equally. But well, again, women, part of the reason is that guys don't fight for their piece of uh, the action. They don't fight for what they have coming to them. A lot of guys think it's not manly to get down there in the mud, and K-Fed got down in the mud, and he fought for his piece of the pie. And he deserves all the credit he does. I, I, I can't give the guy enough credit, for God's sake. 1-800-5800-TOM. Shawnee. On the top, like his show. Hello. How you doing? Okay. I was actually just calling because I don't think K Fed got enough. I think he should have gotten at least thirty. You're not Shaquille's ex wife, are you? Huh? What's that? You're not. You're not Shaq's ex wife, are you? No, no. I just think that he, oh, okay. he was used to that lifestyle. He has to pay for those kids. He's doing sole custody, not joint custody. He was used to that lifestyle. He has to pay for security for those kids. Yes. So practically hunted. That's right. And why not? I think, I mean, think about it. If you break down, he's only going to get 20000 per month. He's got to live in a pretty good lifestyle. Oh, I think Jason. you're right. I think, I think he should fight and get more. I don't think it was enough. I really do. I don't. I don't he's think become he accustomed enough. to a certain lifestyle, and he's well, entitled to more. Money. Right. Yeah, it's like alimony. And those kids, I mean, they are going to be hunted by every paparazzi out there. So, I mean, security is going to be another at least, what? Yes. Seven a month. Going to need two. security for those kids. That's right. It's got to be a lot. And probably an alarm system for the home and uh, probably 24-7 security there. Oh, yeah. And they have to be living in the fanciest house and all that stuff. Right. So I just to call. And I am a girl, so I just wanted to say that I, as a girl, do not think that, you know, all girls are out there for that. I think if you bring home, I mean, each woman has to take care of themselves. My father raised me that you don't have kids until you can take care of them by yourself. So that's it. Thank you so much, Shawnee. You have a good day. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Alex. 
You know, I was so happy to hear you give us the specifics and the, the numbers here, because I had almost lost faith in the Hollywood man. Just a few years ago, remember, we were talking about how uh, Jessica Simpson's husband, Nick Lachey, should have gone after her. Yes, and he, he was a pussy. Nick Lachey yeah. was a pussy. Exactly. And Nick we Lachey could have gotten a that. fortune, and he should have gotten a fortune the way that whole marriage ended. He should have gotten every dime he could have gotten. He should have turned her upside down and shaken her. Absolutely. And now, hopefully, some of these other guys will see the light at the end of the tunnel. Ashton, That's right. Ashton Kutcher could be another example. Ashton Kutcher. Uh, who's that guy that Julia Roberts is married to, the uh, the sperm donor? Uh, that, that uh, I, I don't know or care. Yeah, These I'm guys, sure. how much money can they get? Step up to the plate. K-Fed showed the way. Now it's time for more of these guys in Hollywood to step up and get what's coming to them. Yeah, on VH1 the other day, they had, uh, of what, top 25 cougars or something? Mostly it was just <laughs> hideous. But uh, that's the 25 <laughs> Top 25. The top 25 cougalicious milfs. I think that was the name of the show. I, I, the mind reels, Tom. <laughs> Take me out, JFK Senior Style. But could you play that little presidential march thing in the beginning? Uh, sure, I guess we could do that. Here you go. As I've said, that was tasteless enough with the gunshots. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Here's Brenda. On the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. I'm driving home from work listening to your radio station, and I think it's absolutely preposterous that you're calling T Kevin Federline a hero. Why? Well, first of all, he's not a hero. Sure he is. He's, he's a father. Okay. No, he's a hero for he's, doing what many men didn't have the balls to do. Like that he's, Nick Lachey, who had no balls, in my opinion. That Nick Lachey, you know what he could have gotten when he got divorced? He should have taken everything he could have gotten. You know what? Uh, getting back to Kevin Federline. Uh, you no, know, you have nothing a, to say about Nick Lachey. You, you know Nick no, Lachey no, no, should have. No, wait, listen. Kevin Federline is a father, and obviously Britney Spears is not a fit mother at this time. So he is, you know, uh, stepping up to the plate and being a father. I quite frankly, feel that he deserves uh, child support, yes. of course. Yes, and, and but, alimony. Well, I, I don't know whether I agree with that He or became not. accustomed to a particular lifestyle. Yeah. And he's entitled to money. He, he did. But, I mean, I, I'm more stuck on the fact that you're calling him a hero because he's yes. not a hero. Oh, of course he's, he is, and now he's getting the legal fees, too? Fantastic. It's no, about time not. a man stepped up to the plate and acted like a real man in one of these situations. Oh, God. You know what? I, I disagree with you. He's he's definitely not a hero. He's being a father. And, you know, chances are he's not even really taking care of those kids. I'm sure he spends a bit of time with them. Well, the but point, they're probably that's being not even the issue. The issue is he's, he's getting divorced and he's entitled to money. As women have taught us over decades, when you get divorced, you're entitled to lots and lots of money. And most yeah, men are pussies, lots and lots of, and which, which Britney Spears does. She makes about uh, almost $10 million a year. So yeah, he's nine, entitled but... to lots and lots of money. We've been taught that by women. Women led the way in the divorce, uh, uh, the divorce wars, and now we have a man finally standing up for the rights of men to get their piece of the pot. Yeah, you know, I agree that he deserves to have money uh, because lots of he money. is the one raising the children. He deserves lots. No, really no, he deserves spousal children. support. He became accustomed to a particular lifestyle. You're not going to move into Panorama City with those kids now. He deserves <laughs> to live in Malibu or the Hollywood Hills or Beverly Hills. He... Agreed. Agreed. What but, are you going to do, um... move him to Downey? Forget it. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Hell no. Or Compton, no. I, I, you no. Know, but, but But listen. You know, the truth of the matter is, is that whoever's raising the children d does deserve child support. But uh, just And he deserves money because he became accustomed to the Britney Spears lifestyle. Okay, but he's not a hero. 
Yes, he is, because no, many men that don't have the balls, many men are afraid of being too much like women. They're afraid of demanding every penny and demanding to, to continue living that luxurious lifestyle they've been living. Kevin Federline had the guts to stand up and say, I'm entitled to money, lots and lots of money, just like a woman. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, but what happens now when she is, uh, because, you know, who knows what the future holds. Uh, if she may end up with the children again, and what happens at that point? Well, that's a whole other issue. We, fortunately, we know that he will hire an attorney, ultimately at her expense, to fight her when that happens. And I think it's fantastic. Yeah, well, he's not a hero, but he, he is has learned from he has learned from generations of women in this country who, when they get divorced, see a big fat freaking payday. Finally, a man stands up and says, "Where's ours?" Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's what he said. I think he said, uh, "I got mixed up with Britney Spears, and I can and get." Now I money. want money. That's right, like women do. Now I want money. You know what? Uh, I, I disagree with you. I mean, I hear you talking about women and trying to take money and this and that. I just think if there's a divorce involved, that whoever is raising the children does deserve it. has nothing support. to do with whether you raise the children. It's not just child support. He's entitled to alimony. Yeah, I hear you. but Lots you know, and lots of it. Yeah, well, one thing I'm just going to say before I say goodbye is he's not a hero. Oh, he is to men. Let me tell you, he's my hero. Uh, yeah, you know what? He might have gotten, you know, the money, but a hero he is not. My only hope is that he will continue in this brave fight <laughs> and fight for more and more money as time goes on. Oh, Just like a woman, I think Kevin Federline should do the exact same thing and show everybody that men and women are equal. He's a feminist, for Christ's sake. He's an absolute feminist because he believes in equality of the genders. I think it's fantastic. I, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. I mean, All uh, right. you know, we've been hearing women say this for years. I'm getting divorced, and now I'm going to take everything you've got. Now, finally, a man you know, stepping some, up to the plate and showing women, real balls. Some women. Most uh, women. All women are most like that. women. They just want, most they women. Just, most women. No, most women. Just, no. Most women. <laughs> no. Yes. You're not going to beat me down. Most I'm women. Sorry. Most no. women. Most women yeah. are like that. Yes, they yeah, are. Man. Yes, they are. Women take every penny they can get. And now yeah. we have someone on our side. All right, Tom. Well, I, I, I disagree with the hero part. He's getting divorced, and now he wants lots of money. And I'm sure he'll Good for it. him. He's but entitled the to the it. The matter is, I, I certainly hope that he's going to be a good father to those I, children. That's not and my problem. My problem is that he has money because he's entitled to stay in that lifestyle he's gotten accustomed to. Well, you know, I just think it's silly that you're calling him a hero. He's a hero to men. Oh, it's, that's the We've been hearing women talk about how they were entitled to stay in a particular lifestyle for decades. And now we have a man who's going to stay in the lifestyle to which he's become accustomed. It's fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Yes. I'm going. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Appreciate the call. She can't see how fantastic it is, for God's sake. I love it. Finally, a man who's not afraid to be called a woman or to be, you know, emasculated. He steps right up there and he says, you know what? I got balls. I want money. Like chicks do. I've been divorced four times. Here's how it works. Chicks say, I want money. I was, I was with you. Therefore, I deserve money. Yes, you paid my rent. Yes, you paid the mortgage on the house. Yes, you paid all the utilities. You bought every grocery I stuck in this big fat mouth of mine. Yes, you bought me my, my, my little dog for $350. Yes, you bought me cars. Yes, you bought me uh, clothing and accessories over the years. Yes, every time I decided I didn't take a course in something else, cooking, photography, knitting, you paid for everything. Yes, you paid for everything. But now that we're getting a divorce, I want money. Because I was with you, and on top of everything you've paid for over the years, I deserve money. It's about time a man stand a st stepped up to the plate and said the exact same thing. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. God, talking to you is like talking to Mickey Mantle. This is the best, Tom. The Tom Likas Show. Show from Hollywood. I'm 
1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you so much for tuning in. Kevin Federline, my hero. Oh, yes. He's getting the cash from Britney Spears in a big way. $120,000 in legal fees awarded to Kevin Federline to be paid by Britney Spears. $15,000 a month in child support, $20,000 a month in spousal support. My hero. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. We lost you. All right, let's go to uh, Connie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Thank you. Yes. Well, first I'd like to tell you that I'm a longtime listener, first-time caller, and this is an issue that I really wanted to call in. I kept calling back, calling back, calling back to a busy signal. Um, I, I just really hear a contradicting message from you. How so? I mean, as as, well, because I think that in the past, I listened to you quite a bit. You know, you talk about women who do this. Yes. And money-grubbing bitches. But when a man does it, it's okay and he's a hero. Well, again, you have to fight fire with fire. It's war out there. Women aren't stopping. <laughs> and so if a man is willing to step up to the plate and say, I want my piece of the pie, I think it's fantastic. But what if it was a woman? Women do this all the time. She would be a money-grubbing bitch. Women, yes, they are money-grubbing bitches. But now <laughs> men have a money-grubbing bitch to look up to of our own. But, but also something that you said. I think it's fantastic. That, fair enough. However, one of your key points when you talk about paying vagina money is that it's not... It, it's not about them having to live a certain lifestyle now that they're not with you. Correct? Well, that's what they say. They say they're entitled to live the lifestyle to which they become accustomed. But do you agree with that? Would with you what? agree that people that you're with... I think if it's okay for women to do it, then God damn it, it's time for men to start doing it. <laughs> but is it okay for the women in your life to do it? They can't do it because I have prenups. Well, and she should have really gotten a prenup. I think all of us saw this coming. Well, there you go. Whose fault is you that? Know? Okay, well, I just contradicting messages. She's getting exactly is... what she deserves from our hero, Kevin oh. Federline. No, oh, he's not a hero. Oh, yes, he is. He, he would be a money-grubbing bitch. He's a money-grubbing bitch. He's what my money-grubbing bitch. <laughs> I mean, now we have a money-grubbing bitch on our side. I think it's great. Yeah. Okay, Fed, well. if you're out there, I, I will take you to dinner. Pick a restaurant. We're going to go anywhere you want. And he can pay with her and money. Brittany, Brittany can pay for the babysitter. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it was really nice talking to you, Tom. I'm sure it was. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Bob on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, you know, I've been listening to radio talk shows for a long time. I'm 49 years old, and, you know, I take what you say in, in, in regard for what you do, but you can't be more on the mark than this one. You know what? He is our money-grubbing bitch, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, the folks who disagree with this just haven't been through it, you know, and just can't understand it. And, uh, you know, first of all, nobody should ever get married. What's the point? Exactly. So I, I agree 100%, and uh, unless you've been through this once or twice, man, you just can't understand it. And I support it 100%, man. I'm behind you. This is the first time I've ever called a radio show, and uh, I, I, I support what you say 100%, man. Thank you, Bob. All righty, thanks. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Now, you know, many times people call this show, and they make claims. They say they know people, or they've got inside information, or whatever. Every call to a talk show is anonymous. You never know if somebody's making something up or making a claim they can't prove. And so we put the calls on the air. But with this disclaimer, I'm telling you right now, you should take everything the next caller says with a grain of salt. He might be making a claim he can't prove. So we'll let him say what he's going to say. But I'm telling you to be skeptical and decide for yourself whether you believe that what he's about to say is true. Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 
Tom, what's up, man? Long Not time, much. first time. Thank you. Uh, about three, four weeks ago, I was uh, working at an event at the Staples Center, and on uh, the last night of the show, K Fed showed up. And a uh, real approachable guy, uh, we were in the dining room, and I came up, you know, because he was constantly in the news and the whole Britney, story, uh, Britney Spears story. And, you know, I went up to him, and I said, you know, it takes a, a big man to do what you're doing. You know, I think a lot of guys, unspoken, are kind of taking their hat off to you. And, uh, you know, word for word, I don't remember what, what exactly what you said, but his comment back to me was kind of like, you know, I'm just doing what a lot of men should have been doing a long time ago. I agree with that in more ways than one, not just stepping up with those kids, but stepping up to the alimony plate and taking his swing. Right. And, and you know, and I, I'm uh, familiar with the situation of a, a friend of my mom's who got a divorce. And <clears throat> despite the income differences, I think 15000 is not <laughs> – I think he should be able to get a lot more for what she's bringing in. Absolutely. Monthly. Absolutely. And I'd be willing to bet this is just the first leg in his fight. I'm sure he's going to keep fighting to get more and more because he's entitled to more money. It's a divorce, and he needs money. Right, and she's not doing anything to better her case. So keep it up, Brittany. Keep up the good work. You're making all us men out here real proud. Absolutely. Tom, take me out old school, buddy. Here you go, Chris. Tom is our telephone number. Here comes Danielle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. You are my daddy. I am indeed. <laughs> my, your name is written across the palm of my right hand. Oh, good, because that's how I want to be taken out. <laughs> but I love K-Fed. I always have. I remember when he first started banging her when she was still kind of hot and her lawyers had all his money and all his credit cards cut off, and all the money grubbing broads I work with were laughing at him, and he's really turned himself around since then. He's and become he has, a national hero. Absolutely. He's an yes. American hero. I've always said that. I'm so glad we picked this topic. The fact that he has her mother on his side, that's brilliant. That's uh, Are you kidding? It's like the perfect crime. Absolutely. And I wonder if he calculated all of this with the kids. I mean, he kind of did what a broad does. He got her pregnant twice. He got to keep the kids and he's getting all the money. And, he has and no you got to wonder, you got to wonder, you know, if her mom has turned against her, does she have anybody left to talk to? I mean, who are her friends at this point? Nobody. Even that personal assistant slash cousin of hers has abandoned her. She's pathetic. Uh, and boy, it's, boy. it's wonderful. So I'm thank it. you. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm like McDonald's. I'm loving it. Me too, absolutely. He's brilliant and should be the face of the ad campaign for McDonald's. Absolutely, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Danielle. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Art on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Art. Hey, what's up, Tom? Long Not time much. listener, first time caller. How you doing, man? Doing great. I just want to make a comment on when that Connie woman called. She was saying, how Kevin Fedline is a money grubbing bitch. But she needs to realize he is a money grubbing bitch, but he's a hero to all us men. He's my money grubbing bitch. He, he's my money grubbing bitch, too. He deserves a lot more than what he's getting. That's right. That's all I'll I want. I'll tell you to what, say, I support it. I support it. Good. I would support him any day. And I'll tell you what, if this judge is running for re election, I'm going to make a note. I don't vote, but I'll vote for this judge. Absolutely. Definitely. Okay, Tom, that's all I want to say. You're doing a great job, man. Take me out African tribal style. African tribal style. All right, here you go. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. Kotale nenge, asika mama. Oya kotale nenge, asika mama. Oh, God, you gotta love it. My hero, Kevin Federline. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. And you can hear our show streaming live. Just go to BlowMeUpTom.com between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time. Click on the Listen Live button and you'll be listening live. The Tom Likas Show.